we're a citizen in the city of my God. The new Jerusalem coming down from heaven, from my God. And he will have my new name inscribed upon him. Let all who can hear listen to what the Spirit says unto the church. Amen. Amen. All right. The church of Philadelphia, though poor, small, and persecuted, uh, had remained true to Christ. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. It was the only one of the seven churches with which he found no fault. No fault. Come on. Yeah. He said, I found no fault. He said, uh, which reminds us of John 19 and 6, when the chief priests and officers came saying, crucify him, mm -hmm. crucify mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. How is that for them? Take him. But I want you to know, I find no fault, no fault. in him. Amen. Amen. So Philadelphia had a spirit just like Christ. Mm -hmm. And right. because of that, uh -huh. Christ loved them the same way. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He promised to them an open door yes. that no man could shut. He promised them preservation through future persecution. He promised them a place of honor in his new kingdom. Mm -hmm. He promised them that they would be kept from the hour of temptation, mm -hmm. from the hour of trial, from the tribulation. Mm -hmm. This faith one true church would not go to the tribulation period. Why? For they shall be back. And we learn in John 14 and 3 that he promised he was going to prepare a place for us. He was going to come again and receive us unto himself. That's where we shall be raptured. That where he was there, we would be also. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up yes. together with them in the clouds yes. to meet the Lord in the air. Yes. Yes. And Christ has the power to either admit people to his God's eternal kingdom or to exclude them from it. And some we know will be excluded. Mm. Many thought they were churches, uh -huh. but they weren't. <coughs> Many buildings today are made with church, but they are not a part of Christ's church. Right. And it's been mentioned to us today, mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. kinds of churches. Yeah. As a result, Christ does not spare any condemnation for those churches. For they have no redeeming features. Mm -hmm. This is the message to the false <coughs> on the church. Yeah. Yet the Bible promises a blessing to those mm -hmm. who listen to his word and do what it says. That's right. And if we remember, he keeps telling us, listen to the word, his words, and do according to what they say. We sometimes need to question ourselves. Amen. We need to stop. I remember the song <coughs> not so long ago. It's search me, search me, Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, you know when I'm right. Come on. Yeah. And you know when I'm wrong. Yeah. 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 While I'm down here praying, Lord, search my heart. Yeah. Yeah. While Good friend. Yes. Lord, search my heart. We need to ask God to search us sometimes because none of us are right, really. Right? Yes. Yes. But we can get it right because He will help us. But we need to question ourselves every now and then. Have you been Christ like? Do you have the characteristics of Christ? Are you living holy? And true, he says he's a holy God. Holy. Amen. Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Uh -huh. And are you keeping God's word? Are you walking upright? All right. Have you asked God 
to create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. For Matthew's 5 and 8 tells us that blessed are the pure in heart. Yes. For they shall be God. Yes. Do we love God? Do we tell him every day that we love him? Do we worship him every day? He deserves our worship. Yes, he does. And he deserves our worship. Do we say to him that we thank you for all of his provision? Yes. And do we say to him, God, I love you just because of who you are? Amen. Christ is the only one who can grant access to God. The church in Philadelphia has access to God. Uh -huh. And no one can deprive them of it. Think about that. Because God told them. They had not left God himself as holy and true. He opens the door into the presence of God his kingdom and eternal life. No one can prevent entry to those for whom he opens it to the Not only does Christ open the door to his heavenly kingdom, he is the door. Yes, this is yeah. John 10, 7 and 9 says, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. I am the door. One door is Christ. By me, if any man enter, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Jesus is presenting himself as a way to salvation. If we enter in and receive Christ and he grants salvation to us, we'll be welcomed into his kingdom. We'll have citizenship in his kingdom. We'll have eternal admission into Christ's kingdom. We'll be home at last, church, where we will find that the wicked shall cease to trouble. Mm -hmm. The very weary shall be at rest. We will have overcome God's wrath for tribulation to worldwide trouble. Mm -hmm. We'll be at last where there is no more crime, no more robbing, no more killing, mm -hmm. no more spiritual wickedness. Mm -hmm will be permanently part of the new Jerusalem, the new heaven and the new earth. Just like the church at Philadelphia, because we have remained true to Christ. And he said, I find no fault in you. I find no fault in He'll say, well done, my good and faithful servant. The church that remained true to Christ Take heed to the church of Philadelphia, that Christ found no fault in them. And they had access to God's kingdom, and no one could deprive them of it. As long as we remember to remain with Christ, remember to keep his word, and to do as the word says. And Christ will say to all of us, I find no fault in you. And you have access to my God's kingdom. Amen. 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 Amen.